guys, we got a uh, broken tub drain here. This is a family member's house. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and help them out. As you can tell, this I mean, this thing is flooding the front and back of this room and the one behind me. So. What I want to do is try to just break the rest of this out of here since it's already. All right, now what you want to do is you want to try to get the rest of this out of here. Try to salvage the rest of this pipe, man. Try not to break this white pipe. Perfect. Look at that. That's what we want. That's what we want. The next thing you want to do is you want to get you a uh, tool so that you can push this uh, drain system here down uh, from the off of the bottom of the tub. And uh, I've already kind of started it, but just to show you, you kind of push down, and then as you're pushing down, you want to go ahead and slide this gasket in. I've already started mine, so it's a little bit easier fit. That's generally what you want to do when you get to that step. You definitely want to have this gasket in between this. Now, you can see it in that corner; it's not pulling too, but if I push down and do I want to go ahead and center this real nice and centered so when I set my drain in there it sets in flush it's not angled it's had a good set so, right, guys let's go ahead and do that all right, looking good all right now typically what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get some uh plumber's putty we're going to run around the bottom of this thing here all right, so remember, put your gasket in between the uh, drain and the bottom of the tub. Get you some plumbers, buddy, and wrap it all around. for a tub drain in size. It's a pretty good setup. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make you a nice little roll. Put to my right. Wrap it at the top and bring it around. See you guys. Now this is a little extra, this is a little uh excessive but it's fine. As you push in it will allow itself to spread out and thin out. All right, now you wanna go ahead and take this thing out of there. So that you can set this in, if you don't have a tub drain tool or removal tool, take some pliers, same thing. All right guys, just make sure everything, you know, again, looks good. Get you a tool that won't puncture the bottom of this thing. Get it all set up. Let me get this phone propped up, guys. Yeah, he's better than that. This is where these come in handy. All right, now you're gonna start seeing that plumber's putty mash out. That's what you wanna see. You wanna twist until it gets tight, and then you wanna give it one extra good twist. What you don't wanna do is over tighten. What you'll do is pop the thread loose. That's what, I, that's what we wanna avoid. So that should be Pretty good. I might torch it just. There we go. One more time. 
putty that came from out of there. Roll it up. Smash it in. Two dollars at Home Depot. Make you two, three thousand bucks off of this alone. All right, now with these tub drains, what you want to do is, after you install one, right, come back and make sure that there's water still pooled a little bit around the edge. So, I mean, the remainder of this is supposed to be gone, but you should have a little bit around that lip. And if you do, then you're doing good because that means that there's no leaks and it's not seeping in. So just like that, it's going to set back because this is sitting this way, but you should be able to come back after a while then. Tap around and find a little bit of water after maybe 10 15 minutes. All right, let's go to the next journey. Huh? We'll be removing this, swapping it out. Stay tuned. 